All right guys, so I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but I know how long you guys have been waiting for the Project Highland to come out and a lot of you guys have been holding back purely because of my videos here. So I get how frustrating this could really be, but patience is really the key. So here's the thing, Tesla just recently introduced a brand new FSD beta transfer program allowing you to move your FSD software from one vehicle to a brand new vehicle without having to repurchase the whole software again. Now, this is great and all, however, the way they are enforcing it and putting rules to it, it can be quite catchy. And these are all the things that lead me to predict that the new vehicle Project Highland is going to definitely be delayed. So right now, as it sits, there are tons of old parts from the current design Model 3 that's available and Tesla really needs to clear out all this inventory. That is the biggest factor to all this and why the new Model 3 is going to be pushed back a little bit. The earlier date that we were all assuming Tesla to introduce the brand new redesigned Model 3 was late August to early September, sometime in Q3. However, that is going to be likely after October. Now, keep in mind that this is not necessarily old inventory vehicles. There are still newer Model 3s being pushed off the production line as we speak. However, all of these vehicles are built with parts that are no longer being produced. Now, I know there's a lot of you guys out there saying that this is just pure assumption and nothing is confirmed until it's confirmed but the fact is Tesla has already introduced newer vehicles onto the roads that are prototypes they are definitely not going to be pushing in mass production older parts when the newer ones are already in production so things like the body frame the door panel the glass the headlights and so on and so forth those are all the things that are sitting in stockpile right now waiting to be cleared out before they can actually introduce a newer vehicle. Now, I would think that this is all expected by Tesla themselves that it would have been cleared out much faster than this. However, even as of today, there is still too much stockpile of those parts. This is why they released the FSD beta transfer program with these clear restrictions and rules as to how you're going to transfer it. So if you guys go on to the Tesla website and check out the FSD beta transfer requirement, it does outline exactly what things are required for for you to get this to work. And one of the more notable one here is that you do have to transfer your vehicle to a brand new vehicle that is a current design vehicle by September 30th. Now obviously they don't need to mention that it's a current design vehicle or a new design vehicle because as of now as we sit there is no new design vehicle just yet. Now here's a big indicator as to why I believe that there is still a huge stockpile of inventory parts for the Model 3. The biggest one being the Hardware 3 full self-driving computer that even up to today is still being shipped in Model Ys all around the globe except for the Fremont factory. Now, if you guys just thought about it for a little bit, why would they still be pumping out Hardware 3 inventory into vehicles if Hardware 4 is already in production? The only real reason to that is that Hardware 3 inventory is still very, very high. So yeah, all of that has to be cleared out and the only way to do that is through different incentives and now being that the FSD transfer is going to require that you get a vehicle with Hardware 3 and the Model 3 old design. All right, so how would this affect you and I that are waiting for the Project Highland vehicles? Well, the requirements for this program is outlined very clear and one of the other part of it is that it does end on September 30th and they're very exact on that date because it indicates that the new redesign that's coming out after September 30th will not qualify for this FSD beta transfer. So unfortunately, that means that we are going to have to wait a little bit longer than what we were anticipating but that also means that for Tesla they will not be releasing the vehicle anytime before September 30th because that would be too good of a deal transferring from an old vehicle FSD all the way into the redesigned vehicle that would be too good to be true so yeah I really hate to say it but if you guys are able to wait please continue to wait but if you guys aren't able to wait there are great incentives right now with the referral credits and the FSD beta transfer program so if you guys do plan to get any vehicles in the next month or so make sure you don't miss out on those so yeah i'm definitely gonna keep an update on this and i'll let you guys know if anything else changes but as of right now i have to adjust my date 
after September 30th. So most likely we're going to be seeing the redesign in the design studio by the first week of October. So there you guys have it. If you want to stay updated to everything regarding Project Highland and even Project Juniper, which is expected to come in 2024, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell if you guys haven't already done so. This is John once again. Peace out.